Hi, I'm Tony Stewart, and you're watching Three Wide Life. What point in your career did you have that kind of career defining moment of when you knew you were really going to start making it in the sport? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I don't, I still don't know um, if I've had that moment yet. Sometimes I, I think I put so much pressure um, on my career and on myself that I always feel like I'm on the edge. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I feel like, uh, you know, after I drove in the full, full time in the Cup Series for a couple years, I've, I've learned the sport more, I've gotten to know more people, and I feel like when I was 20, 21, I was just really trying to grind it out and just get in a race car every weekend, and I didn't really, I don't think I had a very good sense of how the sport worked. I think I have a much better sense of that now. Um, it doesn't, that doesn't mean that I'm by any means like more relaxed or more, you know, oh, everything will work out or something like that. Um, but it's more like I, I feel like uh, um, just the way manufacturers do business and the way NASCAR corporate does business, I feel like I've paid attention to all facets of our industry. And, but I feel like I've had um, more of a realization how other drivers or other industry members have transitioned from crew chiefs to, you know, um, broadcasters or drivers yeah. have transitioned from drivers to working for NASCAR or, you know, you see someone on a race weekend that that worked for a race team and then works for NASCAR corporate or something like that. I feel like that's just a, you know, as you mature in the sport and learn the sport, you kind of see how that stuff unfolds. Yeah, well, and I think another big factor that has played into it, and especially for you, is social media. You have done a lot to continue to grow pop popularity, and I think that there's stuff you've done that I know your sponsors certainly appreciate just from going to a love stop and, you know, buying gas for a veteran or something yeah. like that. How much has social media really played a part in your career right now? Um, definitely a lot. I mean, I think um, I, I, I really, just for me personally, I use social media as a way to connect directly to as many fans as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, uh, yeah, I love meeting fans in person, but a lot of times the, the time that I get to see fans in person is actually not a convenient time for me to get to know them. Um, it's on a race weekend, I'm walking through the garage, and really there's only enough time to say hello, maybe take a picture, or sign an autograph, which is super important and, and really valuable to, to a lot of people. Um, but the, the cool thing about social media is I can communicate with that same fan on a daily basis. And I do with, with a lot of fans. And, and you know, just by liking their tweets or, or by following them back or, or, or responding. Um, there's race fans that I know on a first name basis that I may have only met a couple times in my life or I've seen them in person a couple times. They've only gotten a picture with me maybe once or maybe never, but I communicate with them on a daily basis. And that's yeah. something that is just so groundbreaking, I feel like, in the sports and entertainment world. And so I feel like um, I really want to take advantage of that opportunity while I'm doing what I'm doing and I enjoy that so that's that's what kind of evolves into you know the Facebook live sessions that you see or the funny you know rants that you see us go off on me and my fans on Twitter where it's you know like I've got this cult following of people that you know we can send them on a directive and now all of a sudden they're harassing Dale Jr. with tweets because that's I awesome. you know but but like that's kind of the fun and games in it all I yeah. think um, and, and honestly, you know, as someone that really is passionate about the sport and, and, and the growth of our sport, um, you know, I like to push other drivers to, to do the same. But most of this stuff that you see go viral on social media is spontaneous. Um, and it, it truly is like you can't plan viral, I think. Yeah. I, you know, you can't. I mean, there's, there's some people that are, I'm sure there's large corporations and social media departments that are trying to figure it out and, and they're on a daily basis making a social calendar and planning things and you have to do that but for me I mean it, a lot of it is just from the hip and, and yeah. just from knowing how the internet works and paying attention and spending a lot of, a lot of time on the internet I guess.